He accused the couple of immense mental harassment by not giving them a child despite being married for six years. Welcome back to They Did What, your source for the internet's craziest, most entertaining stories where I go over them, analyze them, and most certainly make fun of them. Today, I'm going to go over an article titled, A Couple is Suing Their Son and Daughter-in-Law for $650,000 American Dollars for Not Giving Them a Grandchild. And guys, this story, which is really circulating around the world in the last couple days, is about a couple over in India. The uh, a, a mother and father... The father is 61 and the mother is 57, and they're suing their son and daughter-in-law because, God forbid, they haven't produced a grandchild for them. Pretty much, it seems like that is the end-all, be-all of their existence, and because they haven't produced a grandchild, they're suing them for $650,000. Where that number came from, I'd like to know. It isn't explained in the article. But as I'm, like I said, guys, this has been spreading around the internet because this is something you just can't can't resist clicking and looking at. Now, call me crazy, but it, for my for the culture here in the West, sure, families like having grandchildren and all that. But the fact that is your life that dull at 61 years old and 57 for the wife, that pretty much you have to resort to suing your own child to get grandkids. I mean, again, I get this is a different culture. And if any dudes over in India or that part of the world watching, I would please do explain because I know that it's not my culture. And I know know family's a very big deal over there. I get that. But still, if this was an article that came up over here, I would say get a freaking life. I'm sure there's other things you can do at 61 years old and 57 to find joy and happiness in your life. That is not the end-all, be-all, because it doesn't sound like they're dying or anything, to sue your kid because, God forbid, he didn't produce a grandchild quick enough for your liking. But anyhow, guys, I'm going to get into this more, and I'll I'll, I'll have my comments here and there, because I I can't resist with this type of story here. So it starts off, it says, uh, A couple in India are taking legal action against their son and his wife, accusing the younger couple of inflicting mental cruelty on them by not producing a grandchild. That's the definition of mental cruelty by simply they just haven't had a kid yet. How do you know? Maybe maybe she has problems uh, conceiving. Maybe she, uh, she has problems uh, in other areas. Maybe those two aren't exactly attracted to each other because it was an arranged marriage, as you're going to see. Who knows? But, but mental cruelty... I think there's way other things that could be done that could be, quali- be labeled mental cruelty, but simply not producing a grandchild is a bit extreme. Uh, Sanjeev Prasad, 61, and his wife Sadhana, 57, say their son Shrey Sagar and his wife, I can't pronu- pronounce her name to save my life, so just, his wife should pay them $650,000 if the couple does not give them a grandchild within one year, according to the BBC. Again, where the hell does this $650,000 number come from? And let's just say they, they do sue them. Do they actually have that kind of money to pay them off? Uh, the older couple, who live in uh, northern India, told the Times of India the sum is what they spent on Shrey, who is now 35. This includes a $65,000 bill for Shrey's pilot training in the United States in 2006 and a luxury car gifted to him for his wedding. The guy's quote is saying, or the, the father... I have only one son. I spent all my savings on his upbringing and education, he told the Times of India. He returned to India in 2007 due to the economic recession abroad. He had lost his job and could not find another one for over two years. I supported him financially during that period as well. Now, last time I checked, you know, you have children, so obviously it's going to cost you money to raise them to feed them, to clothe them, all the things associated with that. And I don't picture your typical six-year-old thinking thinking that, well, okay, mom and dad are paying for me to eat or to clothe me or something like that, so therefore I must do this, this, and this to uh, make up for that. And by the way, we're getting into this article. Not once is it mentioned that there's any kind of uh, contract, verbal or written, saying whether someone would agree to produce a grandchild or grand- grandchild, grandson, granddaughter in a certain time frame here. There's nothing about that. Uh, he added that he, uh, he arranged a marriage for his son with the, the wife, who's now 31, after the young man finally secured a job. 
However, he accused a couple of immense mental harassment by not giving them a child despite being married for six years now. God forbid, after six years of marriage, they haven't produced an heir. And, she, and the, uh, the wife is 31. Again, how do you know she may not have problems uh, conceiving? Or maybe they're not exactly attracted to each other because it wasn't arranged marriage. There could be a whole lot of other things there. Or maybe, just maybe, they think this guy thinks his parents are assholes, which they're proving to be. And he doesn't want to give him a grandchild because they're going to mess that kid up. I mean, these are a lot of things that could be coming into play here. Uh, Sanjeev said the, the, the young couple live in separate states because of work and their daughter-in-law doesn't stay with them, which he added adds to their suffering and cause the older couple immense pain. Well, if she's living someplace else for work, they're not exactly around each other all the time to keep uh, rolling in the hay to potentially produce a grandchild. So that could be, there's, there's going to be some logistical problems there because she's not living there. And now back to the fact that she's not living with them, causing them more pain. Who the hell are these people? I get, is there nothing else in their lives they can do to, uh, to have for joy, for fun, fulfillment in life, reason to get up in the morning, that they have to resort to suing their son who sounds like he lives with them because they don't have a grandchild. I mean, again, I know this is coming from the West and I recognize cultures are different, but again, this is coming from over here. It'd be like, what the hell? Uh, the couple's lawyer told the local news outlet, ANI News, that the case portrays it, the truth of society. He says, uh, this is from the attorney, we invest in our children and make them capable of working in good firms. Children owe their parents basic financial care. The lawyer said, adding that the, the pair either wanted a grandchild within a year or monetary compensation. Well, this part about saying that children owe their parents basic financial care. I think 650000 American dollars, if they had it, would get them very far in India, given the fact that the dude's 61 and she's 57. So is that basic financial care, 650000 American dollars? Come on here. This is ridiculous. I'm all for taking care of your parents. Don't get me wrong. But this, and it's either a grandchild or this, I think they're just playing hardball and want attention. Who the hell knows? And then back to the whole investing in the children and all that. Well, again, these are your kids. I would imagine you would do things for your kids and all that. But where was there any kind of contract that this son of theirs agreed to do this? Um, the lawyer also told the National that the older couple was suing because of mental cruelty. What a load of crap. It's a dream of every parent to become a grandparent, the lawyer said, and they've been waiting years to become grandparents. The BBC reported that the uh, Prasad's court petition has a court date of May 17th. Okay, so today is... What the hell is today? Today's either the 15th or 16th. So tomorrow or Tuesday, because I'm filming this on a Sunday, we'll get to find out. So I'm going to be paying attention to this because there are so many articles covering this story. It says here, some Indian couples have faced immense pressure from family members to produce kids. Some Indian mothers have reported experiencing uh, different forms of abuse for not producing a male heir after having a daughter. Well, that sounds pretty effed up to me. And again, I know I'm coming from this part of the world, but nobody should have that kind of pressure or anything like that, let alone now. And by the way, if let's just say this goes through. Do you think that the daughter-in-law is going to be able to be physically able to produce a grandchild if she knows she's going to be sued for this? Because newsflash, and women are pregnant and they're under immense mental stress and pressure and all that, oftentimes that's where miscarriages happen because of immense stress. So they're not exactly helping the situation. And let's just say, okay, if they do produce a grandchild, okay, and then they don't get sued, I'm playing devil's advocate. If you're that, that son and daughter-in-law, would you want to have that kid at all around the grandparents after that whole fiasco? Hell no, I wouldn't. I'd be like, okay, there's a grandchild, your grandparent, but fuck you, you're not going to see them. Then we'd probably be back here in a year or so seeing another lawsuit because they can't see the grandchild or something ridiculous like that. Again, I may have some people come at me because, God forbid, I'm being insensitive to another culture here, but uh, you know what you get in this channel, so it is what it is. But I am curious, and I don't mean too much disrespect to the, the Indian brothers. I just so explain to me about the culture and the family and the grandkids and all. I really would like to know. But I would imagine even you guys would see this as quite excessive and ridiculous. So we shall see how this whole thing turns out. All right, guys, that is it for today. It's a quick one, but that'd be a good one to bring up since this is really circling around the wire. Be sure to comment down below. Let me know what you think about this. And also, guys, you come across a really good article or story you'd like me to share. 
By all means, email to me, strongsuccessfulmail at gmail.com. Just give me some time and I'll get to it when I can. And like I said, articles like this, something something crazy and out there, crazy stories, or if you guys have personal stories, stuff that you went through when you were younger, some crazy story you went through with some crazy girl, or I don't know what, email it to me. Make Just make sure you write it really well. A lot of guys write me, and everything's all jammed together, and, you, and there's no paragraphs, and you can't tell where one uh, sentence begins or ends. Just write out easy for me, and I'll cover it then. And be sure to like the video, share with your friends, and subscribe. And I'll catch you next time.